everybody, my name's Jill. I'm going to talk to you today about saving seeds. So there's lots of different ways that you can save seeds uh, and it doesn't have to cost you anything. Uh, there's lots of different um, materials and resources you can use to safely save your seeds. These might be seeds that you've harvested from your own garden, from edible plants or ornamental plants. Uh, maybe you were given some seeds and you want to make sure that you've got them there ready for the next season. It's a really good time of year to go through your seed collection and have a look at what you've got. Uh, check the dates on them to see uh, how old they are and also make a bit of a list about things that you might want to plant and grow in the spring and summer season. There are lots of different um, containers or jars or ways to store your seeds and there are two parts to that. One part is saving your individual seeds and the other part is storing all of your seeds in one dry safe place. So there are a few ways to store your individual seeds. You might use an old sauce jar, make sure it's got a tight lid or some herb containers that have been cleaned out and dried. Again, need a tight, secure lid. Uh, here I've got some seeds in a little container. This was um, dried apricots. You might use paper bags and they're also good too because you can write on there uh, what the seed is and I'll talk about labeling in a moment. Uh, you can also make your own seed storage maybe from an envelope. Uh, you can also cut up and fold paper into little envelopes yourself. Otherwise, you might use different size snap lock bags and they're quite good too as long as the seals are still in working order. So what you'll need is your containers or your bags for storing your seeds and also a marker. So you always want to label your seed packets. You want to make sure there's a date and it might just be the month um, and the year. And you also want the name of the plant. If you're not sure, then use a bit of a description. Maybe it's um, yellow daisy, grows to about two meters, um, or where it's located. If you've saved seeds, from your own garden, you might say that yellow flowering bush down the bottom of your yard. But if you put as much information on there as you can, then you're going to remember what that is um, later down the track when you're ready to sow your seeds. So you always want to have on there your the name of the plant or a description. Make sure you've got the month and the year um, at least. And that's, that's your information there to come back to. Don't um, assume that you'll remember because it might be three years down the track and you may have forgotten by then or you'll have such an amazing uh, seed collection uh, they might get mixed up otherwise you might also like to share your seeds and that person that you're giving them to wants to know what they are as well. Uh, so if you're harvesting your seeds you need to make sure that they're really dry before you're putting them in their container whether it's the jar, the snap off bag or the paper bag. If they're not dry they can go mouldy, um, they're going to retain a lot of moisture and then they won't be viable um, and they just won't sow, uh, they won't germinate. So make sure that your seeds are really dry before you put them in their storage bag, whether that's a glass jar or um, a herb container or a little paper bag. You want to make sure they're really dry. So you might store them on a tray for a little while or hang them somewhere where they're not going to get moisture, any more moisture on them. And then once you've done that, you can get your bag or your sandwich bag or your container. You're going to write exactly what it is on there, as much information as you can, and then store them away. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you might use some containers like this from old screws and nails, 
and you might have your little bags in there as storage as long as the lid is really tight or you might have something like this this is a garden seed storage box you can have a look in there i've got some paper bags there might be some dividers in there if you wanted to divide them into their growing months and there's also a little tray down here where you might keep some labels or a pen so that's pretty fancy what you want to make sure when you're actually storing your seeds, once you've got them in your little bag or container or however you do it, if you're going to store them in the pantry or in your shed, you want to make sure that they're um, going to be dry so no moisture can get in. You also want to make sure that no rodents can get to them either because they're pretty tasty treats. Um, when you've got them out of sight, out of mind, you might find that some mice get into them and they're gonna ruin um, your seed collection or eat them all and then you won't have anything to grow. So um, just to recap, um, you want to make sure that your seeds are very dry before you put them in your storage bag or container. You want to make sure that you have labeled it to the best of your ability and that's with the date and um, a description and you want to put them in a storage box or tin or container that is rodent proof and moisture so you you want that to be dry safe in a cool dark place um, away from any critters that might come in always wash your hands after you've been um, sorting your seeds after harvesting, bagging, even labeling, because some of them like chilies, um, the, the, hot, um, the hotness can stay on your hands and you don't want to um, get, a, get a sore eye or hurt yourself. So always make sure that you're washing hands after. So I hope those little tips um, are helpful to you. And now that you've sorted out your seeds, you can make a list of the things that you're going to sow for the spring summer season. Happy gardening everybody, thanks!